Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about a check constraint in the SQL Server. So what is a check constraint? A check constraint is the one which will help us to ensure that all values in a specific column is going to satisfy a specific condition. So what is this condition? Again, the condition is depends on the based on the column name. Let us say I have an employee table. I have an employee table which are of having ID employee, employee name and salary. So here I whenever I insert a data into this particular table. So I am keeping a specific condition saying that salary should be greater than 4000. So even if I try to insert the employee with a salary less than 4000, it should not insert. So that is the purpose of check constraint. It is going to ensure all the values in a particular column is going to be specified is satisfied with a specific condition. So if the particular salary column is satisfied with a more than 4000, then only it will allow you to insert. Otherwise, it will show you an error message saying that it is not up to the mark. I will show you practically how to do that. Now, let me create a table with the name of employee. So here, so as of now, it is simple table with no constraints. Even I don't have any constraint on the salary column. Now let me create a constraint on the top of the salary column. So here I will be writing a query. How to write the query by using alter. So I will be adding a check constraint to the existing tables. Alter table. Employee. Employee. Add. Check. And what column you want to do? Salary. Greater than. 4000. Means if the salary is more than 4000 then only. My table is going to accept the rows or employees. Now I just added a check constraint to the employee table. Now let me try to insert the data into this particular table. Insert values employee insert into sorry insert into employee values. So what is the value I'm giving? So, uh, 201, comma, Frank, comma, I am keeping salary as 5000. So, the 5000 is satisfying this salary check condition. So, it automatically insert the value into the particular table without any error message. Now, let me try to insert a one more record with a different values, but the salary will be less than that particular range to show you that error message. 202, comma, Mary, comma, I am keeping 3500. Ideally, as per the check constraint, this row should not insert into this particular table because this value is not getting satisfied with this condition. Now, let me run this statement. So, it will show you error message saying that the insert statement conflicted with the check constraint. So, this conflict occurred in the database with a particular column and table. Now let me change this to 4500. Yes. If you make it as 4500, it means that you are satisfying this condition. Now let me try to the insert it. It automatically inserts. Now let me run the select query. Select query is the one which will help us to show the data which is there in a particular table. So now let me run the select query. Once you see this, yeah, these are the two records which are inserted, but both are satisfied with this condition. It means that check constraint is the one which will help us to ensure all the columns, all the values in a particular column is satisfied a condition. Now, if you see this, these two rows are satisfied with this condition. So, this is how we will work with a check constraints. That's it. Thank you for watching.